Hello, Bashira. Welcome to Sound Fusion Radio. Hello, DJ Gloss. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very well indeed. Lovely, good, good. lovely to have you with us. Thank you for inviting me down. It's wonderful to be here. It's lovely to have you. I've got a few questions around up and coming events, Bashira. I um, want to specifically ask you a question uh, about the acoustic pre launch of your album, Independent. Yes. Uh, basically, on the 15th of July, which is a Monday evening, uh, 2013, this year, I'm going to be having um, an acoustic pre-launch of my album, Independent, as you've mentioned. Um, it's it's an event that has been designed uh, by myself and uh, key team members within my camp. And um, it's really about showcasing the album, but from an acoustic perspective, um, hence the reason why it's not the official launch. Um, it was basically an invitation um, that was extended to myself um, from one of the partner organisations called Black Women in the Arts, who came to me um, with a view of putting on an event to help to promote me as an artist. And uh, when I sort of brought that back um, to team members within my camp, we agreed that this would be a great opportunity to actually showcase my forthcoming album, Independent, um, but to use it as as a, as a pre-launch, so a soft launch to the actual um, album being released um, because the timetable of the actual event, that being July 15th, was a little bit in advance of where we are in terms of the official release. So hence it being a pre-launch and it being an acoustic pre-launch, I think it's important to make that distinction because it will be yes. with an acoustic type um, vibe in terms of the musical presentation um and it's something that will happen before the official launch so i get to have two parties wow uh, <laughs> there you go to promote independence <laughs> so it's it's wonderful yeah oh that's fantastic well um i was gonna ask you a bit of a sneaky question now then and that is um can you share with us what the first single release is going to be on on the new album ah uh. Because you ask so nicely, Aww. I will. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the first single release is going to be a track uh, called Delightful. Um, it's, I, I mean, all of the tracks on my album Independent, I, I love them all. Um, Delightful has probably got a, a slight edge to it in as much as that it was written with uh, the husband of Minnie Ripperton. Um, wow. Yeah, Mr. Richard <laughs> Rudolph. And that was such an awesome experience. In fact, there are some other tracks on the album that includes uh, Richard's contribution in terms of songwriting. Um, and so as a team, collectively in the UK and the USA, uh, we've decided that the first single release will be delightful. Um, and it was also um, a track that had songwriting contributions or has songwriting contributions from uh, um, Crystal Johnson, who has written for Mariah Carey and Jennifer Hudson. Um, so there's myself, Minnie Ripperton's husband, and we've got Crystal Johnson songwriting. Hey, it's a great mix. It's a, it's um, a wonderful star track. Studded. Absolutely <laughs> star studded. How about that? Yeah. So that's going to be the first single release. Um, and the, the video is in motion. So watch this space. What more can I say? Well, we'll certainly be watching out for those uh, coming out and they'll be played here on the Sound Fusion Radio where I'm hoping people were going to hear it first. So okay. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure that you guys have a copy, no doubt. Oh, thank you very much, Bashira. That's lovely. Okay. Uh, as well as being a professional singer, you're also a voice coach. Uh, what do you see as, as the value add in that for the young artists that you coach? I think um, for me, I, I come from very much the thought that um, what I what I receive in terms of my experience as a singer, as a vocalist, and I think there's a distinction between those two words, which is why I deliberately use them. Um, yes. I think it's important that I impart what I can as a voice coach um, to my students so that they have the experience of somebody who's current, somebody who's who's out there in the industry that's, you know, finding opportunities, creating opportunities, attracting opportunities. Um, I think for me, what I'm able to give to my students, and this is, you know, testimonials that come from them themselves, is is the fact that, you know, what I do is current, what I do, I do on an international basis. And I'm very, very grateful to be able to have that kind of access um, so yes, there's nothing more satisfying, um, than having, uh, my music received, um, on such a large scale internationally. 
And my students have the opportunity to look at that as a measure of what the audience expects. Um, Also, I think it's important to impart upon them the importance of how to use their voices properly. Um, So it comes from a whole spectrum down to breathing, Mm. um, down to scales, um, down to intonation and audio training, um, harmonies, the dynamics around stage performance and presentation of the voice. Um, so I feel that these are the things that I can add to my students when we're in a session. Um, these are the jewels that I can impart on them. Um, and in fact, um, actually on the 15th of July, um, my pre-acoustic album launch, um, one of my students that I'm actually uh, working with teaching um, will be one of my guests. But I can tell you a little bit more about that a bit later on. Well, wow. there you go. Well, can't wait for you to tell, to tell us a little more about that one. I haven't asked you, Bashira, before. Um, tell me how you became involved in music in the first place. Um, okay, so primarily um, I always say I've been singing from I was in my mama's womb um, and that really isn't an exaggeration. Oh, um, <laughs> I think I entered this earthly realm singing. I wasn't crying, I was singing. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> um, I, I also come from a musical background um, in as much as um, I have an aunt and an uncle who did a lot of production and songwriting for a diva, which interesting enough, I've seen a diva kind of resurface. It's quite interesting because I I think that I've probably used her name quite a lot in radio interviews in as much as just explaining my background. So it's yes. actually really good to see her resurface. So good on you, Adiva. Um, so, yeah, I had an aunt and uncle that was specifically in the camp of Adiva doing songwriting and production. Um, I had another uncle as well who was doing a lot of production for Maxi Priest. So I grew up around the studio. Um, it was almost second home. Um, I also studied studied um, sound engineering as well. Um, so I have a background knowledge of how to put together music as well. So I'm kind of to the forefront and the background. So I love that balance and that equilibrium. I think it's important for myself as an artist. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it's really something that's coming from, you know, childhood, really. Um, always had a love and passion for music. Um, knew from a very, very, you know, young age what I wanted to do in terms of my career path. Um, although I did, you know, study uh, law and, uh, sociology and English, um, and made the decision uh, not to follow through on a degree at that point in time, but to embark yeah. upon, you know, really what, really what was a lot of opportunities that were coming my way in terms of being able to go out there and sing and perform. Um, and for me as well, I think it's important that I, as a person, I have a very, rounded approach or experience um, academically as well as creatively so um, as my my family often say you got a win-win there girl you got a win-win <laughs> there for sure because you, you cover it from all angles and uh, you know going from the point of view of having a great voice having the ability to coach other people in the vocals and understanding the dynamics of that and also a great understanding of sound in itself it, it is a real advantage so you know i think that's a a wonderful uh shall we say uh spread of talents that uh that you can bring to the fore so that's thank wonderful. you thank you dj gloss and i mean i think you know that's wonderful what you said there i really appreciate that i think to add to that you know i i firmly see myself as an as a being in continual involvement. So I'm always looking at how, you know, social media has taken off and how, you know, there's lots of different equipment from back in the day when I was very kind of hands-on in terms of the engineering. But I'm also a producer. Um, I, I also do a lot of arrangement as well, um, obviously, as well as, you know, working my voice as a vocalist or working it from a different perspective as a voice coach. Um, so, you know, music is my life. It's in my blood. Um, and I love what I do with a passion. I really, really do. And, very um, apparent. Yeah. That is very apparent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, can I ask you another cheeky question? Yes. Who, who you. are your guests on the night of the 15th of July at the pre-launch event? Okay. So, yes, as I mentioned previously, um, a young person that I am working with, a young lady, 
Um, her name is Xenia. Um, I approached Xenia about what was happening on the 15th of July and um, she was got really excited. And um, we've had a few conversations um, around what obviously um, is the night is going to be about. And I just felt that it would be a good opportunity to be able to give someone that I'm supporting um, the opportunity to actually showcase themselves as well. So she'll be there on the night. Um, I won't say what she'll be singing. You have to come to find out, but um, she'll be there. Um, I'm also really, really honoured and super, super pleased to also have um, guest support by a phenomenal singer um, by the name of Onita Boone, who is based in Germany, but she's a New York native. Um, so she will be flying over specifically for this event on the 15th of July. And um, yeah, all I can say that it's going to be a great show. I, I know what Onita is going to bring. I know what I'll be bringing. I know what Xenia will be bringing. And I just think it's going to be an awesome night. You know, it's definitely been um, prescribed or put together for the music connoisseur in mind you know someone who appreciates really good music and appreciates good acoustic music because I think it's important to add that obviously it's a pre-launch and it's going to be an acoustic type vibe the night um, um, there's a couple of surprises that will also be there in terms of how the night will go but again to find oh. out people have to come <laughs> people you've got some Great new media partners. Can we talk about your media partners? Yes, we can do. Okay, so um, on board, I'm really, really proud to say, drum roll, please. <laughs> we have <laughs> <laughs> Sound Fusion Radio. Woo, woo, woo. So Sound Fusion Radio are on board as one of my key media partners. And um, I'm really, really super pleased to be working in partnership with you guys. I just... I really, from the heart, love what you guys do. Um, a special shout out, obviously, to Anna. I mean, wonderful lady. She and is. so great at what she does. Um, and also to yourself, DJ Gloss. Um, oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you know, since we've connected, it's just been, it's been a really, really great synergy. Positive in every sense of the word. And it is an honour to have you guys on board as my media partners. So thank you. And it's an honour to be there. So thank you too. <laughs> That's lovely. Thank you. Brilliant. Um, um, also on board are an organisation called Black Women in the Arts, who were um, basically the organisation that approached me in the first instance about putting on an event. Um, and then from that, you know, myself and my team, we, we kind of got pen to paper and we and we came up with basically the pre-launch. Um, there was a lot of interest prior to this happening about the album. And I just thought that this would be a great opportunity to showcase the album from an acoustic perspective. Um, to get some great um, people on board um, and, and those people are you know have been very forthcoming so it's been yeah it's been really great in the planning um, so Black Women in the Arts are on board um, also as well Heaven Sent Consultancy um, Heaven Sent Consultancy are also my PR team as well um, so uh, they're on board as well so in relation to all public relations around the event PR um heaven sent consultancy will be will be handling that um and the, there are a couple of other people that's as well that are on board um some are not officially confirmed yet so i don't want to sort of jump the gun and sort of mention their name but there are Agreed. a few other people yeah. on board as well um but yeah and uh of course the importance of public interaction in terms of the profile is very important and i believe with the media partners on board i i think that we've got some wonderful, wonderful synergy in place in terms of obviously Sound Fusion Radio, Heaven Sent Consultancy, Black Women in the Arts. Um, it's a great synergy and I'm looking forward to what I know will be a phenomenal event. Um, I'm honoured that it's my pre-launch. Can't wait to share that. And uh, yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. There you go. I, I've got a little bit of a, a curveball, if uh, if you don't mind me asking. Okay. And um, I've been dying to ask you this since the first time I ever interviewed you. And that is, what's one of your favourite tracks? <laughs> Ooh, wow. Um, oh gosh, they're so many on the spot um, on the spot on the spot on the spot <laughs> all right so on the spot um what i was listening to on my on my iphone today coming down here it was on rewind uh -huh. was uh maxwell till the cops come knocking i just love that track love it love it love it 
Right, okay. I, I shall have to play that for you. I, yes. I will have to play that for you, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Big yes. <laughs> nice <tune>. one. <laughs> Maxwell, wonderful. There you go. Um, I'd like to ask you uh, where the voice in Bashira, the voice, came from. The, ah. the, the, the expression, the voice. Yes, yes. Okay, um, well, the voice was a reference that was applied to me um, many, many, many years ago, actually. Um, and it, it actually originated initially in terms of the reference applied to myself from the States. Um, I spent some time out in the States with my music, um, as a songwriter, as a vocalist, and I would continually be told, oh my gosh, you are the voice. This girl can (laughs) sing, this London girl, she can sing, um, (laughs) And so that kind of stayed with me and, and, and I was just, yeah, called The Voice. Um, and so sort of speeding up time in terms of how that stayed with me, um, music industry heads from both sides of the water, um, as well as fans and supporters, again, would say, wow, you know, we love your voice. You're The Voice. You're The Voice. Um, and so I I felt that, yeah, you know, Bashira The Voice in terms of, you know, a persona um, for my artistry really, really worked. Yes. Um, but in addition to that, it wasn't just about the singing and the singing obviously is a big part of it, but it was also about the projection of the spoken word as a songwriter. Um, so, you know, the voice pertains to that. It's about the spoken word. It's also about the delivery of my voice as well. Um, so, you know, there's there's a few dynamics attached to that to that title, The Voice. Yes. Um, and then, it, it, funnily enough, I, I recall um, when uh, Whitney Houston passed, the reference to her as the voice. And I remember one of my producers in America saying, wow, you know, Whitney Houston was referred to as the voice as well. And, and, and I, I kind of got where he was coming from. You know, it it's a title. Um, people expect you to live up to it. Um, so far, I've been told that I do, I'm, and I'm I'm honoured that it was something that was given on to me. It wasn't a title that I selected or chose. Um, I just really do the best with the gift that I have, and I really believe it's um, a wonderful gift that's been imparted upon me. Um, I couldn't have chosen any better avenue. As uh, you know, music for me just does it. Um, and I think even if I'd taken the time out and you know fulfilled a career within law, it would definitely have been music law. So it would have still rerouted itself back to yes. music on some level, mm. you know? Um, yeah. When you love what you do and you're doing what you love, then it's just love, love, love. <laughs> I'll go along with that without a doubt. In fact, I have a slightly longer title for you. Okay. <laughs> you, you are award-winning, record-breaking Bashira, the voice. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I mean, wow, to be a world record holder is absolutely amazing. You know, when I got the call through about that, I was like, what? Um, and that really came about um, um, in March. I had uh, four singles peak um, top 50 in the DPP charts in America at the same time. So I had like four singles concurrently within the same chart as well as um, one of those singles hitting number one. Um, So it was, and that was in another chart. The number one track actually happened in another Mm. chart in America. Um, And that was just phenomenal. And then obviously at the same time, I had that single top 30 in the UK as well. The track was called I Won't Worry that got to number one. Um, So yeah, basically it was a world record in as much as, you know, no other independent artist has achieved that where they've had four concurrent singles at the same time chart. Um, with a number one single attached to it so phenomenal I mean world record holder hey I mean I'm super pleased um and I mean with the awards as well um yeah to have an award one award is amazing to have two awards super but I mean I'm like I think I've got four awards at the moment and um wow I can't find a word for that I'm really really exhilarated just with all of that it's amazing to be recognized um to have my work you know profiled in that way it's it's amazing and you know the independent scene is a big scene and I am proud to be a part of that 
Um, I'm proud for everybody yeah. who's taken the time out to support me, whether it's been coming to a live show or buying a single or buying, you know, my first album release, which was called, is called rather, Thought You Knew. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. It really, really is amazing. So, yeah, what can I say? Record holder, award winning Bashir with a voice. I like that, Glossy. I like that. Okay. Well, we'll <laughs> stick with that title then. There was one more thing that happened that week, actually. There was one more really good thing that happened that week. <laughs> tell me, tell me. <laughs> it probably doesn't come quite on the scale of the other stuff that happened, but you were my featured artist that oh, week as well. Oh, that's right. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. There you go. That's amazing. It's, that's actually right. I was your featured that's artist. That's right. Wow. Oh, that's a special moment right there. Thank I you. I remember being immensely proud when the uh, information came through Try about on. your success there Thank and uh, you. yeah and I, I did post it actually on on my Facebook account with uh, your chart positions in and uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wonderful but it had to be done oh <laughs> thank you so much you guys like I said you've been awesome you really have so I really appreciate everything you've done thank you no problem at all. We, we absolutely love doing it. Okay, um, on to awards now because um, I want to talk to uh, talk to you about one specifically, and um, that's uh, the Black Women in the Arts Award 2013. Can you, can you tell us a little bit more about this one? Okay, so um, it's the, the award is called the Black Women Artists Award 2013, and it's um, it's it's a, it's an award that recognises uh, female contribution. Um, in the areas of song, poetry, and there's one other category that escapes me. Um, uh, however, I've been nominated in the category of song, um, so as as the the Black Women Artist Award 2013 um, in the category of song, um, and uh, again, amazing to be nominated. Um, when I got the call that I had been nominated, I just felt, wow, okay, this is awesome. You know, um, good sense of achievement Great. again. Yeah, definitely. How lovely. How lovely. <laughs> so um, that uh, nomination process, um, obviously, in terms of the voting. Um, is still ongoing. Um, it, it closes as of July 31st, 2013. So people have the opportunity to continue to vote for me if they like what they hear and like what they see. And yeah. I think we should tell them how to vote then. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, voting is done one of two ways. You can actually send an email to enquiries at blackwomenart.org.uk uh, and you just need to say that you nominate myself, Bashira, for the Black Women Artist Award in the category of song. <laughs> so people can also vote by the telephone by calling 0207 0207-923-7658. 0207-923-7658. So people can feel free to uh, ring that number um, again if you get a voicemail message you just say that you are voting for Bashira for the for the Black Women Artist Award 2013 um, and if you speak to somebody if you get a person because sometimes you do you know when you call numbers <laughs> you can just basically the say, say the same thing that you're calling up to vote for Bashira for the Black Women Artist Award 2013 there you go. So make sure that you vote for Bashira. There's uh, a little bit of time left, so make sure you either send that email or make the call. That'll be lovely. Thank you. You're on a campaign, an international campaign. Oh. Yes, um, <laughs> currently. And um, I'm going to ask you, what's that all about? Okay, so basically it's about... It's about extending myself um, into other territories, into other charters, in terms of um, countries and places. Um, so over the weekend gone, I was in Cambridge. Um, I go to Bristol on the 7th of June. Um, I will be in Birmingham at the end of June, the 29th of June. Um, back down into London um, for the beginning of July, um, obviously, um, I have a, a date on the 13th of July and, and then we have, you know, my, my, my number one um, in terms of the pre-launch on the 15th of July. Um, I'm yeah, also going, going to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm also going to be uh, going abroad as well. So I will be um, going to Germany um, at the end of July. So there'll be some more information to come about that. Um, 
and I go to the Caribbean as well um, at the end of the year. Um, and there is um, at the moment a conversation around uh, going back to the United States of America as well, um, a few states out there. So basically, it's about it's about bringing Bashir of the voice um, to to other avenues, other 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 countries, um, other territories. Um, some that I have visited before and some that I haven't. So it's really about, yeah, launching my music, you know, and continuing to launch my music on an international level with a, a great team of people. Big hi to all of them. They know who they are. There's so many people to <laughs> name. I, I wouldn't want to name and then miss someone out <laughs> inadvertently. <laughs> so I'll just send my love to each and every one of them. They know who they are. Um, you know, they they are my 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 support system they are an amazing group of people and um yeah i really count sound fusion radio amongst that title as well you guys have been phenomenal in supporting me and it's yeah thank you very very much i think for us it works both ways bashira and you you're always very supportive of of the station and what we do and you know those kind of synergies as as you said are, are, are vital um in in this industry, that's for sure. Absolutely. And we all work together, and that's that's what it's about. Absolutely, so. absolutely. I think it's about finding that commonality that that holds us all together, that's that cohesive link that keeps us focused, that keeps us driven, that keeps us, you know, loving what we do. And, um, yeah, I think when you find people like that, it's important to acknowledge them. So I'm one for acknowledgement. I'm very big on that. I think it's important. So, yeah. And on the subject of associations, I understand you have a new publicist now. I do indeed. I do indeed. Um, um, Heaven Sent Consultancy um, are on board as my new public relations team. Um, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's a great partnership um, so far. So very, very good. Um, I, I have had um, sort of interaction with um, Heaven Sent Consultancy on another level previously, um, but um, in terms of public relations, um, officially, um, we are now on board um, and they are obviously uh, one of the partners involved in my uh, pre-acoustic album launch on July 15th at the Vortex Jazz Club. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to all the wonderful things that I know that PR team will add to uh, brand Bashira The Voice, really. It's going to be great. Wonderful. And you're launching a new website, of course. Yes, I am indeed. Um, www.bashira.com. Um, the reveal will happen very soon. I am in a, a constant uh, dialogue with my uh, web designer and I am so pleased with where we are at right now. I'm really looking forward to having it revealed and uh, it will definitely be in time, actually way before time of the actual uh, pre-acoustic album launch on the 15th of July. So uh, stay clear in terms of uh, the, the date for that reveal. And I'll make sure that uh, all the Sound Fusion Radio listeners know about that via yourself, DJ Gloss. Wonderful. We'll make sure we put a really big drum roll out on that one. So there you go. Thank you. Drum roll, lots of cymbal. There we go. <laughs> nice one. So we'll make sure that that actually happens and uh, that that's all the listeners know about your new website. And I also wanted to ask you, because I know you're a great user and believer in social media. Can you tell us how that's helping Bashira the voice specifically? Yeah, I think um, obviously with the, the whole increase in social media, um, it's quite a phenomenal tool really um one that i've yeah Yeah. one that i've definitely been able to to use to my advantage and there's so much out there really you kind of got to choose you know the ones that resonate or work best with yourself but i think uh, from an independent perspective as an independent artist it's oh i mean words can't really describe what that increase has done for artists like myself um you know where we've been able to connect you know, on a global level, really, with so many different aspects of of what the industry is about in terms of DJs, in terms of uh, labels, in terms of, you know, uh, industry professionals, and, and also added to that the importance, the real importance of interfacing with your fans and your supporters. It's, it's a, such a worthwhile tool. Um, it can get a bit intense at times, you know, sometimes it's like you're forever, you know, sort of, on the end of a piece of technology (laughs) but that being said it is um it's a wonderful tool social networking um and i think when it's used in the right way it can only but advance whoever you know not just 
you know, from a, a musical perspective, but in, in every sort of domain in terms of, you know, um, um, pursuits, whether it's, you know, from a medical perspective or whether it's from, you know, whatever really but i think it's a wonderful communication tool yeah. and uh, the, the only problem i have is i, I never want to be the last you know not the last person to send a message but apart from that i'm okay <laughs> that's okay <laughs> i know exactly what you mean there hey <laughs> should i respond to that should yeah I? <laughs> exactly should you respond maybe not now <laughs> <laughs> it's all good <laughs> is there uh, anything else that you'd like to add Bashira to uh, today um, to let people know about what's going on and what's coming up um, really just to say that I'm looking forward to visiting um, you know various parts of the UK on my national tour um, uh, actually it's not a tour but it is a tour isn't it because I'm moving about but um, yeah my sounds national... like a tour yeah, yeah it's a tour <laughs> Bashira well, tour. Yeah, yes. my national promo campaign. I'm looking forward to kind of yeah visiting um, different parts of the UK and interacting with my fans and my supporters in those areas. Um, definitely looking forward to the 15th of July. It's going to be a really special evening, and um, yeah, I've, obviously I'm gonna you know do what it is I do best in terms of my artistry. I'm looking forward to delivering there. Um, really honoured actually, because I'll be joined by Wayne Brown, who will be on piano. Um, wow. Wayne Brown, yeah, he's um, the pianist for Ruby Turner and Earth, Wind and Fire as well. Um, wow. So he's a, <laughs> yeah, he's an international renowned artist in his own right. Um, so he will be alongside me on the evening of the 15th. Um, and there will be some other surprises, like I said, but you'll have to come to find out who and what and where it all kind of figures. Um, and I think also as well, um, a, a very, very heartfelt thank you to everybody in my team. It's not a huge team, but it's a team that works. It's a team that is committed, that works and operates from integrity and respect and a love and passion of music. Um, and they're individuals that make a difference, not just by what they say, but by what they do. Um, the importance of that yep. balance is, wow, I can't find a word for it. It's divine. It's heavenly. It really, really is. It's delightful. <laughs> I agree with all of those, all of those statements. Yeah, yep. <laughs> absolutely. And just to say, yeah, to everybody, you know, wherever you are in the world, um, you know, music is such a powerful forum. Um, it gives me, the artist, the opportunity to empower people, to educate people, to strengthen people, and sometimes just to have fun um, and to just be in a relaxed, chilled mode. Um, but it's an amazing forum, um, you know, and I'm I'm really, really blessed to be where I am. Um, and I'm always grateful for that. It's something that I, yeah, always, always extend gratitude towards. So thank you to everybody, really, who has supported me in my journey. Um, you guys know who you are. You know, you've been phenomenal and um, you've been a backbone at times when there was no bone. <laughs> <laughs> but uh and i know that there's many individuals that'll understand that comment um and you know and that's obviously for people that have been with me for a while but you know in terms of new partnerships like with sound fusion radio um you guys have been phenomenal you really really have and i i see an extended journey with us musically and i'm really looking forward to not just the 15th of july but what will come beyond that as well i think it's going to be wonderful and i'm looking forward to it we're seriously looking forward to it here <laughs> as well Bashira. is there anything else you'd like to say at all to anybody ah uh, just come on the 15th of july um tickets will be 10 pounds uh, so come on down um, information I know DJ Gloss will will be very forthcoming in, in letting you all know where to come it's going to be at, basically at the Vortex Jazz Club um, but I know DJ Gloss will kind of filter it, that information through to all the Sound Fusion Definitely. radio listeners so come down um, keep the evening free it's a Monday evening it's the 15th of July um, and yeah would love to have you in company Wonderful. And uh, we'll make sure that the information is available on the Sound Fusion Radio website so that everybody knows where to get those tickets from and how to uh, make sure they are there on that event, the 15th of July, a fantastic pre-acoustic album launch for Bashira, The Voice. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> no problem at all. 
And uh, Bashira, can I um, just say uh, on behalf of everybody at Sound Fusion Radio, it's lovely of you to come today and uh, share with us all of this information, all, all of the things that are going on with your music. We continue to love your music, so please continue to make your music. Oh, I will do. Thank you, DJ Gloss. Thank you, thank you. That's heartfelt. I really received that. Thank you so much. And just to extend it back to yourself um, and to Anna and to your team at Sound Fusion Radio, what you guys do is awesome. It really, really is. And it's recognised and it's appreciated. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Sound Fusion Radio listeners, the wonderful Bashira, the voice.